Rutabagors is one of the stops on the Haunted Orange Tour, so a lot of people are getting to know that there are ghosts here at the restaurant. The property was built back in 1915. It was the original home of Annie and Danny Crawford, who were settlers here in Orange, California. And now it's changed over the years to many different restaurants. It's been Rutabagors restaurant since uh, 2000. One evening, I was walking through the front dining room and I was here by myself. I heard somebody call my name. So I stopped and I looked around and there was not a soul in, soul, living soul that we know of that was, <laughs> that was in the restaurant. Just recently, uh, one of the uh, busboys was telling me that he was closing up or it was closing time and he was uh, by one of the stations and all of a sudden the window just started shaking very violently for about 10 seconds and nobody else heard anything or felt anything. It wasn't an earthquake. It was just that one particular window that was shaking. I, I get goosebumps here a lot, especially around the front register um, and in the front dining area at night especially. I was in the kitchen with another server and we, we had just been talking about the ghosts at Ruta Begoyers and I felt something pass by my left side, felt like a breeze going past me and a whooshing feeling and within one or two seconds the other server got goosebumps everywhere. The other experience was when I was going to use the bathroom and felt a pulling on the door and I was expecting someone to walk out of it and there was nobody in there. I think the ghosts here at Root of Gores just want us to know that they're around, that they're watching us and protecting us. It's a wonderful old building. It was originally commissioned as the Oddfellows Lodge. My wife and I opened up the antique store. That's up. We thought that was all we were going to do. We found out running parallel to our efforts were that we were now the recipients of a legend in this building about things that go bump in the night. Well, we had a, 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 about a two year period where these tags seemed to go missing in that one location and the customer would say, I love this chair over here, but there's no tag on it. We'd call the dealer who would insist that they had put the tag on it just a week before and they had no idea why it isn't there anymore. We couldn't find it, but this was a continuous ongoing thing. And after several of years when the dealer retired and moved up north, they were in here removing all of their bolted display cases from the wall. As they pulled one away, lo and behold, all of the missing tags were neatly stacked horizontally. How that happened, we have no idea. So those are sort of the types of things that ha happen around here. A mirror hanging on the wall that I know was there when I left in the morning. I come back to find it 10 feet away laying on the floor. So things along those lines. Some people say we, we sell dead people's things. Well, that could be the case, but uh, we have quality antiques that have been around an awfully long time, and so if spirits or whatever attach themselves to it, good possibility they come with it. <laughs>